Hey everyone, so it's been, oh my god, my voice is cracking, this always happens. <clears throat> so I've been MIA from YouTube for a while, and it pains me every single day that I can't upload. So I've been planning to do a sit down video, but honestly I don't know when that's going to be, because I've been really sick for the past couple months, and... Uh, so what happened in October is that I had, I got, kept getting sick from work and I got a viral infection and then <clears throat> I was out of work for a number of days and then, um, not even a week later I got another vi viral infection also from work. So I did actually leave my job at Ulta and I... Like I said, I planned on saying all of this in a future video, but I really don't know when that's going to be. I do still have a couple of videos already filmed from October and September, but I've been so sensitive to light and technology. Even this, I'm like, I can't even look at it because it just kind of bothers me a little bit. <clears throat> it was a lot worse in the beginning, but now it's not too bad. I've been able to kind of slowly go on my phone, um, but I can't even really watch YouTube videos. I have to physically put this phone behind me somewhere, whether it's if I'm in my bed, I have to put it like in the back of me on a pillow, or if I'm in the kitchen, I have to put it on the counter in back of me and then just listen to it. Like, I can't really watch anyone. It's just... It's still a lot for me, and then I've been really sensitive to noise, so that sucks. <laughs> um, but basically, I do want to make a whole other type of video on this because I think it would be really helpful considering I've been Googling, Googling answers on it for as long as it has, <laughs> as long as this has been going on, so... I started taking this medication in, um, I've been bouncing from different medications in the past year because most of them, actually all of them, they stopped working at one point. And then I went on Effexor XR, extended release, <clears throat> in July, I think. And I went on 75 milligrams and that was like, Okay, to be honest, my memory has been a little weird because I don't know, I feel like that this medication, like I'm still on it, I'm going through the withdrawal at this point, but my memory has been really weird being on it and then like trying to taper off of it and I feel like I, like everything's a blur, like I don't remember that much of what has happened during some of the past few months, which is really odd, but I did read that that's kind of common. So, um, I went on the 75 and I was told that that was the lowest dose, but going through this withdrawal process, I read that there's an even lower dose of 75, so I don't know, but I went on the 70, 75 and I felt like it was a process to go through and then I felt like it was kind of working but then I realized it wasn't working and I thought maybe I should just try something else but at this point I've tried a number of different medications and my doctor didn't want me to go on another one unless I had to go see like a psychiatrist for that so <clears throat> We just upped my dose instead to 150 milligram, and that made me feel so much better within the first couple of days of taking it. Like, I think even within the first day, I just felt so much more calm, and I almost felt like myself, but in a better way. So, that I switched to, I think, in August? Um, August or September, one of those months. And then in October, I mid-October, I started getting a ton of migraines. 
and I thought they were just regular headaches at first and I thought it was because I was dehydrated but I also kept getting them at work and I think that there was just something in the Ulta building that I was working in that just kept triggering my health not to say that like all Ulta buildings are like that or anything and I don't want to make it seem like I'm bashing on the company or whatever but I just think that that building is like pretty old I don't really know exactly how old it is like I don't know if there was something I know that the store I worked in Ulta had been there for about 12 years so I don't really know if that was newly built to be in Ulta or if there was something there before so I don't really know exactly how old the building is but there's just something in the building that just kept triggering my health because I kept going home feeling sick and that wasn't just after COVID that was actually before COVID and I never really linked the two together because when I first started working there in summer of 2018 <sighs> <I'm out of breath. laughs> um, I, I remember like within the first two weeks of working in Prestige I all of a sudden just felt so dizzy like I legit felt the room spinning and I was like what is going on I thought I was just dehydrated or something but I just felt really nauseous and then one of my coworkers said it's probably the fragrance like a lot of people deal with that so I kind of just moved on whatever but there were different times and I think maybe more during the colder months but it would kind of happen at random as well that I would start feeling sick at work and I would start getting headaches and earaches and then I would go home feeling sick and then by the next day I was completely fine and my doctor had said that it's a possibility that the fragrance that's being sprayed in the store whatever is in those fragrances because obviously with a fragrance they only tell you like the base notes or you know like the top middle and base notes and everything but they could also be putting other ingredients in there that you don't know of so I could have been having some type of allergic reaction to those fragrances being sprayed constantly now after COVID the fragrances weren't being sprayed too often but still a good amount and um I think I was fine uh when we opened back up but that was also when not a lot of people were coming into stores or all the stores in general so I was fine back then but then I think once more people realized that Ulta was open and started coming in more that's when I started getting sick um and I'll get back to the effects or withdrawal, but I just want to say that for anyone who doesn't like wearing a mask, please, please, please wear a mask because every single time that I, in October, that I've wrung out a person who didn't wear a mask, who like legit like came to the building and refused to wear a mask, somehow they end up in my line if I was ringing and each that each person that I wrung out that didn't have a mask got me sick afterwards. So even if I'm wearing a mask and you're not, you're still getting people sick. Um, I really hope it's not something like political because there's nothing political about wearing a mask. I don't even know how it became like a political thing, but yeah. So for all you out there, please wear a mask because workers, truly truly appreciate it but so I did leave Ulta for health reasons but also mental health reasons I just felt like I uh, the customers after COVID just got so much more rude and I I feel like I couldn't be in retail anymore it has really in a way like ruined my mental health and it took it was really stressing me out too and even though like I love the people I work with that was actually what was making me hold on to working there for so long because I had such an amazing team to talk to every single day and work with that I didn't want to leave that because it's 
<clears throat> not every day and not in every job that you have managers or coworkers that like truly care that like I said that really weird that um that truly care about you and your well being and like want you to talk to them and um about anything and I had never experienced that before working at Ulta so that kind of kept me from leaving um and also I thought that after COVID I was gonna be in prestige or at least get back into prestige at some point prestige at some point but I wasn't and it was just very overwhelming for me and I just felt like I couldn't really do it anymore so even though I had a lot of good times at Ulta and through the ups and downs through the ups and downs I'm really happy that I worked with the team that I did because that's pretty much what got me through it and then all the friends that and family that have supported me throughout everything um thank you so much because even just through like the process of leaving Ulta was difficult and so because I did put in my two weeks but that's around the time that was around the time that I actually started withdrawing from Effexor and it was all under my doctor so I didn't do it just on my own and <clears throat> basically I did 10 doses every other day and I just finished that and wow is it brutal um but I'm going to make a whole separate video about it, like I mentioned, because I don't want to talk too much about it But in this one. But, um, yeah, now I'm kind of going through, like, round two of it, because even though I just finished that part, which my doctor wanted me to do, I am now doing, um, every three days I take the pill, um, or capsule, and, yeah, day three, yes, or, well, yesterday, like, I took it Wednesday, this is Friday, so I took it Wednesday, I think, right? No, I took it Tuesday? Oh, this is confusing. What did, when did I take it? Uh, okay, well, I don't know, I, I forgot when I took it, but I think either the, tw I think the 24th was the last day that I took it and um so then like one of the days yesterday I uh, my body Thanksgiving my body did not handle that well and I stayed in bed all Thanksgiving and I was supposed to go to my cousins with my parents and I stayed back because I was just way too nauseous <clears throat> and yeah, it's a, it's a really bad experience to go through, especially when at the same time, like, you were sick with something else, and then, <clears throat> well, I don't think I even mentioned it in, I may have mentioned it in a video that I have not uploaded yet, I was able to film something during October, during this madness but um <clears throat> so going through sickness going through a breakup and then going through this is just putting my body through a huge whirlwind like it, it's insane I never want to go on medication ever again um <clears throat> I've read that withdrawing from Effexor is not the same but similar to withdrawing from heroin that's great <laughs> um I kind of had a feeling not that I like do drugs or anything but I kind of had the feeling that if this is what people who have been addicted to drugs and this is what they go through trying to recover and not that I was interested in doing drugs or anything or that I will be in the future but it really freaks me out and I will never try anything at all in my life <laughs> because this has been so bad but that's why I have not been present on my YouTube 
like I said, it pains me so much that I can't even, like, watch a, a freaking video. Like, I'm just, it sucks. I can maybe listen to, like, one a day where I used to be able to, like, binge so many in one day and actually watch it on the screen. Now I have to have it behind my head. It's just, it's annoying. I feel a little bit better right now. I actually had a call out of work. Um, I felt so sick this morning. Uh, and I slept a lot, too. I, that's another thing, like, with this withdrawal, you sleep a lot throughout the night. Um, actually, I did start experiencing insomnia, but ever since I started my new job with Alex and Ani, uh, now I am full-time and working eight hours a day. If I do overtime, it could be nine or ten hours. I've only done overtime once, but with this medical thing, it's kind of hard to do overtime because, like, I never know when I'm going to have a headache. <clears throat> and, um, it just comes up at random times, which is really fun. So, I felt okay enough to make this video and update you all. It's very possible that I may just come on here like I'm doing on my phone and talk about some products that way because I have barely touched my laptop in the past couple months. And yeah, it's been a difficult time. So yeah, that's all I wanted to update you on. But I hope everyone had a really good holiday and I haven't really been wearing makeup either. I'm really only able to put on mascara and eyebrows. I tried eyeliner yesterday because I was supposed to go to my family's house and yeah that didn't really happen so I couldn't even do any more of that. I have put on a full face a couple of times between this withdrawal but I can't even like do stuff on my face and my skincare has been really lacking because of how nauseous I've been but I'm doing my best on that and yeah I didn't expect this video to be this long I was trying to make it shorter but I just had a lot to talk about the video that you see that was last uploaded on my channel I think I filmed that in August and then uploaded in September and I do technically have a video somewhat ready to upload, but ever since I got sick, I've not been able to look at my laptop. So yeah. And uh, I have a really strict diet right now. Um, I can't eat any sweets. I can't eat certain fruits uh, because... Actually, something I didn't mention, this is going to make it longer. Something I didn't mention earlier is that um, when my, when Effexor started to not work, it gave me really bad headaches. I know I didn't mention that, but then they turned into really bad migraines, and I actually went to the ER, and uh, when I went to the ER, that was the week that I was supposed to start my last two weeks at Ulta, but because I went to the ER my manager had said to not come in and I felt horrible because like that's one less person in a retail store as an employee like it just I, I know what it's like to have you know other people call out and I hated being that person towards the end because I kept calling out so much but health comes first and I knew that I was not even close to 100% to be able to work so yeah um the migraines are gone but I don't really I had a headache the other day and yesterday but I don't have one today it's just a lot of nausea and then anyone who has been through an effects or withdrawal your brain and like your face your whole head just feels so weird it's an experience that you will never I don't think you will ever feel it unless you're withdrawing from this specific medication. So, I don't recommend it. <laughs> I do not recommend Effexor at all. At all. It's so bad. Uh, yeah. But I'm gonna go now. Maybe I'll upload another one today. I, I don't know. 
know what's going to happen, but I dearly miss editing and filming so much. <laughs>